Melodyne Studio, Variable Tempo Editing Mode, and Auto Stretching. Hi, this is Carlo. Here, we'll take a quick look at Melodyne's Variable Tempo Editing Mode. With it, you can vary the tempo of your song accordingly for both corrective or creative applications. Let's check it out. For this demonstration, I've imported a drum loop and bass guitar groove, which is at 100 BPM. Let's take a listen. Great. Now, what variable tempo editing mode does is it allows us to create these anchor points at between any measures where we can choose to vary the tempo at those locations. And the way to access variable tempo editing mode is to come up to edit and select variable tempo editing mode. Now what graphically changes here is you'll notice on beat one, bar one, there is now a blue line indicating the very first downbeat. And as I scroll my mouse over that line, you'll see that it changes the icon to the variable tempo editing mode icon like that. So if I wanted to vary the tempo, I would have to create another anchor line between these measures. And I'll show you what I mean. I can come over to measure three and double click. And I just created a blue line. And you'll see that it says 100 BPM up here. And now we have a new access tempo point that says 100 BPM here. And if I go over to bar five and repeat that process, You'll see there is another 100. In bar 7, there's another 100. Which now means that we can actually change the tempo between these locations. And what I'd like to do now is come down here to our transport bar where it says auto stretch. And I'm going to check this box there. And you'll see that on every beat, there is now a red marker. Here's without it. And again, here's with it. Now, we're able to stretch each one of the performances between our bar locations with different tempos if we choose. Let's try it out. One way to do that is by simply grabbing a blue line like this. Here I am at measure 5. And let's drag this one to the left. We'll increase the tempo. And you'll see the tempo increasing. I'll take it to 120. Another way to do it, for example, is to double click right here in the tempo information itself, for example, here at bar five, and we can type in the new tempo, let's say 80 BPM. So now we stretched between bar three and five to 120, and between bar five and seven, we reduced to 80. Let's take a listen. Pretty cool, huh? Now, when would we really uh, take advantage of this kind of power? Well, it's simple. If you wanted to globally change the tempo of your song, you can simply do so without creating the blue line anchor points. But if there was somehow you wanted to be a little bit more creative, um, you could actually speed up a song at a certain point or slow it down. This is also great when you're doing more of a corrective application, meaning, for example, let's say you tracked a live drummer. Well, sometimes it could take a few measures for them to lock into the click. Well, why throw away a perfectly good performance because he's off timing for the first eight bars? Now you can use something like variable tempo editing mode, create these anchor lines, activate auto stretching, and fine tune that performance perfectly. This is Melodyne Studio variable tempo editing mode demo. My name's Carlo. Thanks for watching.